it is. Look at that. Look at that belly on him. Heck yeah, that's a fat one right there. Yeah, yeah, in my face. <laughs> Hands on my knees. Hands on my knees. We have hit 100,000 subscribers and it is all due to you. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed to the channel with your notification bells on, everyone who supports CEO Fishing and all of the content that I create. I really appreciate each and every one of you and I look forward to uh, sharing more of my adventures as we move forward. But now it's time to max out on some mangrove snappers in this secret location down in Key Largo, Florida. Let's, let's see how many snapper we can catch today. Are we going to be able to max out? Drop some comments right now. Do you think we're going to max out on snapper today or not? I want to hear from you. And uh, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe right now because this is the type of fishing we do. And that would be all types of fishing. Freshwater, saltwater, inshore, offshore, canals, lakes, you name it, we're going to fish it. Guys, again, hit subscribe, turn the notification bell on. Not that notification because that's his phone and it's interrupting <laughs> my speech right now. I was I was on such a roll too, right? Like I was doing good. I was really doing good. No cuts, no nothing. It wasn't me. <laughs> it wasn't me. It was the one on me. <laughs> it was. But yeah, guys, we're gonna get we're gonna get tight. I'm gonna set up my other camera so that we can just fish without holding. I'm starting to salivate without holding um, a camera in my hand. And that's it. Let's deal with some of this wake because we are in a channel. And uh, guys. Stay tuned, it's gonna be fun. Johnny boy. Yeah. You ready? I'm ready. Backing it in. Go get some snapper. Let's get tight. Got a pirate. A pirate. Asian and a pirate. Gonna catch some fish. Catch some dinner. CEO Fishing is brought to you by The Real Hooker, Nines Optics, and Livingston Lures. So make sure you check them out. Their links are in the description below. What's up ladies and gents, I'm Pebbles. We're using a 5.0 circle hook and Mahara for bait. The one ounce sinker, tight lines. I'm gonna catch them up. Just like that. That's the candy? That's the candy. Nice. So we're casting out into over a drop. Yeah, seems like a ledge. Uh huh. And the snappers here, they range anywhere from 10 to 20 plus inches. Sounds good to me. Whoa! <laughs> we're literally still getting the camera set up, and uh, Rod just bent down. Whatever this is, pulling the boat. It is. We're spinning the boat already. Oh, it's a stingray. <laughs> it's a stingray. You silly stingray. That is not what we wanted. Yeah, we just got here. I can't even get the camera set up and we're already hooking up on fish. Well, first was a stingray. That seems more like a uh, something we're targeting. Yeah. There she be. Nice. There oh, be. man. Guys, look at this. First fish of the day. Look at the size of that. That's a nice size mangrove. There's Dinner. Dang. Dang. How many inches? 14? 14 and a half. 14 and a half. Oh, I do not have my glasses on. I look very Asian. But uh, yeah, 14 and a half for the first fish. I need to hurry up, get the camera set up. I forgot one of my uh, SD cards, so I'm swapping out with the uh, 360 right now to put it in my other camera. As soon as I'm done, I promise, I'm gonna wet some lines and get tight. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Johnny boy! What the f Yo. Are you, are you giving me like the bad baits and you're just keeping the good ones for yourself? Holy oh, maybe. crap. What's the size on that bad boy? Good job, man. Oh, oh. Oh. They are messing with it. No, there they go. Oh, he's on. I'm on. Oh, 
What do we got? What do we got? Yes, sir. It's not as big as, as, as pebbles. Yeah, nice little man. Um, you don't want to keep this one, right? He's little. Yeah. All right, go big or go home. All right, so we got two big keepers. I mean, for what I'm used to catching for mangroves, these are big keepers there. One was 14 and one was 15. And uh, mine was only like 10. Threw them back. I think we're in between tide or maybe it's just starting to barely move now. But I feel like in a few minutes, within the next 10 minutes or so, once the current moves a little bit, that the bite's gonna pick up. I just said that because I, I want to make sure I sound like I sound smart, but I really have no clue. I've never fished here before, but that's what we're doing. You know, it, 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 don't laugh at me off camera. <laughs> <laughs> I just went to reset my bait and got a giant. I'd say it's about six inches because it's double the size of my blood, blood. It's blood. Oh, cast over here. This is where the big ones are. They're at least 23 inches. More like three inches. This guy is just sabotaging me, I swear. Now he feels bad. Put me on these little ass fish. Trying to, trying to be nice to me with these waters now. Gotta butter him up. Right? <laughs> Another stingray? Oh, uh, I'm gonna call you the stingray whisperer. He told me to cast there and he just cast it right there where I was just a second ago. We're gonna see whose rod goes off first, guys. We're gonna see whose rod goes off first. Hey, comment below if you think he's trying to sabotage me. Huh? I don't know, I'm watching this guy. This one feels nice again. Oh yeah, Pebbles is on again. Pebbles is on again. Damn. It's another one. That one's a 13 inch. That's still a nice, nice mang. So fun fact about Pebbles here. Um, he's the one who got me to go down to start bridge fishing. He's the one who got me kind of hooked on bridge fishing. You know, he showed me how to do the snook. I think the first time we went out, he got me snook. on my first tarpon though, no? Snook and tarpon. Yeah, snook and tarpon. And I've been doing it ever since. Showed me how to rig up and, and catch sharks. So if I want to get a shark, I know how to do that. So. A lot of what you guys see me doing is because of this guy right here. So, you know. Tell me how to freshwater fish. I taught him how to freshwater he fish. Ways. Yeah. <laughs> he, he watched our videos. Yeah. I don't care if it's my rod or not. There's no man. This one's a keeper. Decent, but. It's up to you if you want to keep this one. Are you going to keep it or not? Nah? He said it's a keeper. Come on, my wife said about me too. Look at that. Look at that fish. Kobe. With the tray. Yeah, that sun dropped down behind the clouds for five minutes. And the bite just started picking up again. Look at that. That's where he casts. <laughs> this is where he casts. Not where he says for me to cast. Another nice mang. Definitely a keeper. Mm, maybe a little bigger than I think, but he ain't too big. He ain't too big, but he ain't too small. He ain't too shabby. All his friends in there are calling him, you heard that. All right, we're at six keepers right now. I know I did five, but I'm holding the phone with my other hand, so I can't do the six. There, I can't even put my thumb in there. Yeah, so we're at six keepers now. Yeah. And uh, he just got bit by a snapper. Let's go in, let's, let's take a peek. There it is. Look at that. Groceries. Groceries. You know what's weird though? My rod still hasn't gone off. So my dumb ass, I was taking a picture with a Jack Creval or a Caval Jack, and uh, 
had it in the gill and I was trying to adjust it. So I just put my thumb by his mouth for a second. Man, that thing clamped down on my thumb and it hurt like hell. Oh. It's like a hydraulic press. It wasn't, the teeth didn't get me, but it just, the power that those things have in their mouths is crazy. You should have made that a thumbnail. I should have. Uh, I did. I, I dropped it. I went, ah! But I, I edited all of that out of the video from the last video I was on the bridge. Oh, are you kidding me? Nurse? Yep. You it. <laughs> I did call it, right? <laughs> oh, under the... Oh. I said, watch me catch a damn shark on the damn bait caster. Beautiful evening down here. Key Largo, secret little spot. Catching mangrove snappers, but sometimes you catch bycatches as well. This one being a shark. There we are, got a shark in the bait caster. Not what I was going for, but nonetheless, it's a fish and it's a fight. About to pop that line and there was a fish on it the whole time. Okay. It's another 13 incher right there. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hello. Coming to hang out, visit us. I guess he figured out he was hooked now. Oh, yeah. Hey, that's a nice one, though. That's a, that's a fat boy. Look at that belly on him. Heck yeah, that's a fat one right there. Oh. Oh, got a hit over here, hit right here. That another shark. Yep. Whatever the rocks are down there is not braid friendly because I keep losing over the drop this. So I guess for when we do this, I'm gonna have a rod specifically set up for this style of fishing. I mean, this is my inshore setup. So I'm throwing lures that's and stuff with this. Snook, yeah, this is, that's, that's all I, I pretty much do with this. I'll catch snapper and stuff on the bridge, but jigging. I'm not, I don't, I'm not like uh, letting it sit, you know? It's pulling. Hey, that might be a big ass mang. Stingray. Nope, another stingray. stingray. Dang. I just saw the- Stingray wing. whisperer. Hey, sun going down, bite's about to pick back up. Let's see if we can uh, finish up with our limit. This might be a snapper. Is that a good? That's a snapper. That's a good snapper. Damn! You know what, John? You could kiss my ass. <laughs> you can kiss my ass. Look at this freaking mang right here. That's a fatty. That's a fatty. Are we finishing strong? Do we limit out today? Uh, uh. <laughs> Can we throw another bait out? Yeah, we had it, but it uh, it left us the head. It left us just the head. Usually, I don't mind just the he getting the head, but not on a day like today. The sun is in the exact location of where we both had determined earlier that the bite is gonna start picking up. As you can see, it's a lot more of an orange tint on me, on my body, you know what I'm saying? Um, so let's see, let's see if we can get tight, finish maxing out here, get our limit on snapper and head home with agitated wives. Just kidding. They're so happy we're out here fishing. They like, every time we say, hey, we're gonna go fishing, they're like, oh my gosh, go have fun. We want that for you. Yeah, my girl pays me to get out of the house. Yeah, his girl pays them to get out of the house to go fish. Go fish, here, I'll buy your bait. I'll buy gas, whatever it is. One more snapper to hit that limit, guys. One more snapper. The sun's already down behind the cloud line, but it's not set, so, ooh, is that already doing something? Oh, by the way, I'm looking at the rod right here, just in case you guys were wondering. Boom, chicka, boom, put your boom, chicka, chicka. It worked! It, it's working. Boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, chick, chick. The rod just bent over. Hands on my knees. 
hands on my knees or your knees. How, what, I don't even know the lyrics to that. Guys, comment below what are the lyrics to that song. I don't even know. Something did bend that rod over though. Oh, I, I gotta bend over. Boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, chick, chick. Come on, motherfucker, chicka, boom. <laughs> I literally, piali, take the feet. Both the rods are going off. This one bent over. That's a snapper. No, no, I just it just came up. That's a big old snap. Yeah, yeah, in my face. You gotta show it. <laughs> You're gonna get spooled. There we go. <laughs> Hey, I need a do-over on this. I'm gonna come back out here because I need to get my snappers. I mean, I got a couple, but still. There's a mangrove snapper for you. Look at that, guys. We limited out successfully, and uh, this bad boy is going into the cooler right now because uh, the sun is down, the mosquitoes are coming out, and we are about to head home. So there you have it. We limited out on our mangrove snapper and they were nice ones too. So if you enjoyed this content, again, make sure you hit subscribe and turn your notification bell on right now because I post fishing content weekly. I hit 100,000 subscribers on this channel and it's all due to you guys for hitting that subscribe button and turning your notification bells on. And I wanna say thank you to each and every one of you. But if you're not one of these 100,000, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn your notification bell on right now.